Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, you beautiful gemstones. Well, as you know, my name is Ruby, if you're watching this video. And just wanted to chit-chat a little bit. I was talking to somebody the other day. And they were telling me about some people that they said they needed change. They wanted to change some things. And he said, I said to them, all you have to do is do it if you want to change some things. But I'm saying this for a reason because we always have excuses why we can't change things. And he said to me, I used to have excuses like that until I talked to you. Uh, I wanted to make some changes in my life. And he said, I remember you saying to me, if you do, just do it. And he did. And he worked on it. And those changes didn't come by just sitting there talking about it. You got to work on it. You got to do something about it. And the changes did come. And he did work on it. And he said to me, it didn't even take that long. It only took about two weeks for everything to happen. But I kept procrastinating about the change. And the reason why I'm saying to you this morning because, or this afternoon, or this evening where you're at, if you want change, you can have change. But you do have to work at it. And I know that's true because I was watching a video on YouTube about this man who was homeless, who became homeless. And he said that um, before he became homeless, he was with his wife. And they used to feed families, different people that were hungry. But one day, his wife left. Now, I don't know the reason why she left. And uh, things started to happen. Things went down in his life uh, where he was living. He lost, was evicted. And he ended up on the streets. I think it was in L.A. Ended up on the streets in L.A. And he said where he was, it was some more people in this area where he ended up at. And as he was there, because he was homeless for 15 years. Can you imagine being homeless for 15 years? He said, and he didn't choose to be there like that, but things happen, and he procrastinated about things. He probably could have been off the streets sooner if he had worked at it. But he met a lot of people, a lot of people in different areas. And when I'm going to say in different areas, he said teachers, lawyers, now, and doctors that were out there homeless. And you're probably like, oh, come on. Anyone can become homeless if you don't do what you need to do what's right. If you don't budget your money, if you just spend, 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 and whatever you do. Anything can happen. But he, So he was telling this person that he was talking to, the person was like, well, how did they become homeless? He says, well, think in L.A., he says, it was either, either L.A. or California. He says, since this pandemic, they have raised the prices on rent. He said, a studio used to cost $1,000, but now it's $3,000 to rent. And a lot of people became homeless because of that. Now you think about it. Even if you're bringing home $1,000 a week, 
and your rent is three thousand out of those four weeks. Sometimes you'll get five out of those four weeks. You got to save up three thousand dollars out of the three weeks, and then you have a thousand dollars for the one week that's left. And how can you buy food if you got a car and you're paying a car note, car insurance, you're paying your rent, you got children? So a lot of these people, even doctors, they don't, all doctors don't spend their money right and do right. So, but the doctors and stuff that were out there, the guy said, well, who are in those trailers? He said, those are doctors, lawyers, some are teachers. People were staying in their vehicles. Um, they had tents built, built up and whatever they could. But he said, I decided one day to work at it. To work at it to get out of here. He said, I worked at it. He said, and I'm finally out, but I still come here to bring stuff to visit. But I'm saying to you, you got to quit saying you want out, you want change. You got to work at it. You have to work at it. Whatever you do, you got to work at it. And if you don't work at it, the change is never going to come. So what if it takes you a month for it to happen? So what if it takes you 15 years? But you worked at it, right? And sometimes it don't take 15 years, but like I said, he stayed out there 15 years. And... He decided one day I had enough. Now he's got his own apartment and everything that he wanted. So I'm just saying to you, don't just speak it, do it. Don't just say it, live it. Work at what you want in this life. Budget your money. Spend it carefully. If you love your family, you'll do that. I know that a lot of you do love your family. And I want to pray. We should all pray for the people that are homeless. We don't know their reasoning. You know, the guy thought they were out there because they wanted to be out there. And he told them no. He, and then he thought, oh, they're on drugs. He says, only 5% where we're at right here that are on drugs. A lot of people out here didn't choose to be homeless. It just happened. Some people made themselves by the way they lived to be homeless. So I want to say to you, if you want change, make change. And I'm not going to hold you too long. But I love you. But you always know Jesus loves you more. And I want you to be blessed because we all need to be blessed. We all need strength, health, and healing. And just remember, God is the healing power. He is the way. He is the deliverer. So let him deliver you in every aspect of your life. But don't forget, subscribe, like this video. And even if you don't like it, like it. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Have a blessed day.